Hi everyone, it's GFX Rose and I'm here to show you a quick tutorial on how to build a tree in Blender. And you can use any version of Blender you'd like and move it on over to Roblox Studio. So we start with the standard cube in Blender and let's go to edit mode. What I'm going to do here is make sure I'm on the face uh, the faces icon and move this up. I'm just going to go ahead and make my tree out of this cube. That is one way to make a tree. Okay. And I eat extrude and then S to scale. And now I'm going to want to make some branches. So what I can do is create that loop cut here and it will cut right through it. And then I can go ahead and start making my branches e to extrude and move it right over and give it kind of that branch effect. Now I will say I'm doing this very quickly because this is maybe the first way people started making trees, but I've found an even better way to make trees and I want to get to that. So let's just move this over to the side. And what we'll need to do is we need to start with a cube again. So let's go ahead and get that cube going. I go to object mode and hit cube. And what I want to do is hit edit mode. And then you're going to hit M and go to the at cursor, you're merging at the cursor. You want to select that but you need to make sure that you are on the vertices, right? No longer the faces, but on that vertices, because you're going to have to set this so that it all becomes lots of little vertices. So go to the vertice area, hit the M and you will see merge at the cursor. Okay. And then you want to hit control and right mouse and that is going to create that vertice. You see the line? So I'm going to straighten that out so that I have a fairly straight trunk. I mean trees are not always straight but and then you just keep going control right mouse and you just build to your heart con heart's content. You can make the branch curve. If you're making a curvier tree, uh, you can go straight up. It's just whatever you want. And then you want to go back to that point that you're looking for and come off of that and make another point. So I'm just going to extend my trunk down and then go from the center area there. and hitting that control and right mouse. So as you can see, hopefully you can see that we are making some branches here. Now you can go in and click individually on these and shape them a lot better. Um, just give them, them some more form, make them shorter or longer. Uh, they're going really too far here. So I need to bring that in and play with that just a little bit and just get it exactly how I want it. So here I am now back in object mode and I need to go to the modifier. I'm going to add modifier skin. And as you can see, it's instantly added for me all of the branches. It's just that simple. Then you had to edit mode and in edit mode, you want to hit alt C. When you hit Alt C, this is like you're able to see it's like X ray vision, right? You're able to see through. So now I can see those little dots, the vertices, and I can play with it still, but I can see the skin, the branches, and know exactly how my tree is going to look. And I am able to form it how I want here. And so what I want to do now is I want to widen that trunk at the bottom. So I'm only interested in that bottom vertices right now, that vertice. So I need to click on it and hit control A and I'm going to actually widen that out or scale it out. So that's giving that bigger looking trunk. And I'm going to do this on the branches as well. You just go through and widen it out. Now I will tell you sometimes this can mess up the mesh a little bit. So you want to double check your work and what you're doing. If you have it all highlighted like I've got here, then it's widening all of it. And you'll see in this part right here, it's got a, a, a gap. So you can fix that. It's no problem. Don't stress. What you do is you find the area that is causing the problem. Just 
just move it around a little bit. You get the vertice uh, closer or you see how it is? There, there's nothing there, right? So we've got to fix that because when you uh, put that in Roblox, that's going to cause some real problems. So let me just click on this vertice here in the middle and I'm just going to change it a little bit and it should help it. I'll hit control A and widen it and that's going to solve some of that problem. I'll have to look all the way around. Oh, now I've got it over here. So I'll just move this vertice and should eliminate that. There we go. And now we play around with the branches. Well, as you know, the ends need to be shaped as well. So if you take this and hit control A and go the other way with it, it's going to scale it down to have the nice tips on the end of your branches and make it look much more natural. So play around with it. You know, you can hardly go wrong with a tree. That's why I do believe that building a tree is a great place to start your modeling in Blender. If you are learning how to make objects in Blender. And there you have it. Now we need to move on to the, gosh, I think probably it's time for the leaves. So making sure I'm in object mode, I'm going to now add um, another mesh. I'm going to add the cube. But I'm going to be hitting um, Control 2. This is just a hot key to subdivide it, and it's going to make it in, of course, this round shape. Now, you can make this more of a mid poly uh, tree. I'm going to do that right now, but I will in another video show you how you can make it more low poly. But all you do is, if you notice, I have gone into edit mode and I have this box around my round mesh. Well, this is a little fun fact, guys. I don't have to mess with all those little tiny faces. If I keep it without adding the modifier yet, um, I can actually play around with this as if it's still the cube. So it's so much easier, guys. Look, you just go along to the faces and you shape your cutesy little, you know, uh, bush, if you will, your nice leaves that you're gonna add here for a more low poly look and just shape it how you want to, right? And you're not having to deal with all of the faces. Now, eventually you'll need to go over and hit Control A, and that means you're applying it. That is the hot key to apply it. So now you'll see if you go into edit mode, you're not gonna have that cube anymore. You also wanna hit Shade Smooth. So I right click and Shade Smooth. And now you have a round leafy ball that you can put on your tree. So what I want to do here is use proportional editing and click on the vertices. So I'm going to then hit G and widen that circle in and then I can do some shaping how I like. See how that pulls that up? So this is going to allow me to shape my tree how I want, I mean my branch, sorry, my leaves how I want to. and. I can just play around with it. This is the fun stuff. You're not really gonna mess this up, okay? This is just making kind of an odd volley shape so that it looks like some leaves. Now I probably want it rounder here, so as you can see, I'm kind of shaping it out to have a little bit rounder uh, feel. If I would have taken that G and made it larger, it wouldn't uh, made it quite so pointy. So it, it's kind of just whatever your preference is. And you just keep playing around till it feels right and feels like the shape that you are looking for. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of faces here to this. Oh, whoops turn off proportional editing when you want to move it and then you see all of those faces and we just hit s to scale and shape it out so i will show you in another video how you can make this much more low poly of an of a tree okay we've got one down but we've got more to go right so we need to take that and duplicate it Make sure you turn off the proportional editing and hit A 
and then shift D and that's going to duplicate it. And then you just pull it over. You can rotate it hitting R and turn it a little bit. So it's not quite so obvious that it's the same exact bush. Um, and then you can play around with each one of them to give it different dimension if you want, or just duplicate it again and rotate it. It's really up to you. Now, obviously I've got to fix this and get it a little bit better shaped. So I'm going to go into object and I'm going to click back on my tree and reshape that um, branch. It's going way too low. So I have to hit that alt Z again so I can see those, um, the vertices there. So, um, yeah, we move together. We get this kind of looking better and it will look a little bit more like a, a proportionate branch, not quite so low. Okay, and now we go back and we can add on the other branches. Okay, now I have added all of the leaves that I want to add. I've uh, covered the end of the branches and I'm just kind of reshaping it uh, so that it'll look nice all the way around the model. And there you have the tree and now it's time to move it over to uh, Roblox Studio. So let's get these files ready. So here's Roblox Studio, and what you see is you, I'm just here on, uh, you know, a base plate. It doesn't matter, but we need to move on back over to Blender, and we're actually going to bring in this tree into two parts, and that's going to allow us to color them. We have the trunk, and we have, of course, the leaves. So you want to highlight one. We'll highlight the trunk here, and you want to go in and export this as an FBX file. And this will allow you to easily import it into Roblox. So you click that FBX file and then you give it a name, whatever you wish. But what's important is to notice over here in the far right, you're going to want to give some of those um, areas a click. Okay, so I've named it tree trunk. And do you see the section here? It says limit to selected objects. You want to make sure that you click on that. And you've and you've definitely highlighted on the tree trunk or the object that you're trying to select and bring in. And then you also want to go to apply scalings FBX unit scale. So that is going to make sure that the tree will come into Roblox in the right sizing. So we've exported that. Now we click on the branches, I mean the leaves, and we export that as well as a totally different file name, right? Now, if you wanted to, of course, import this all, or sorry, export all of this, you could, but then you would have all green tree, all purple tree, all blue tree. And we're wanting obviously the trunk to be one and, and the branches to be another, I mean the leaves. So anyway, now we're heading back here to Roblox Studio and we're just gonna go ahead and get that mesh part you want to insert the object and you click on mesh part or you type in mesh part and this is going to make this little brick if you will up here you want to click select and highlight that drag it over to where you want it and now you head over to the properties area on this far right panel and you click mesh id mesh id you're going to find that file that you're looking for so we then pull up tree trunk from our computer file, right? From the blender file that we made, the FBX. And we don't need the location. We just hit no here. It doesn't matter. And there you go. There is, of course, the tree trunk. Now it comes in gray. So we will have to fix that. That is no problem at all, though. But as you can see, that is the trunk that we made, right? And so it has come in and the blue outline is just um, to help you be able to move it. So now we insert the leaves and we do the exact same thing with pulling in those leaves, click the mesh ID and head on over to tree leaves, open it. No, don't need that. Doesn't matter. And boom, there they are. Now we need to make sure that we can uh, collide these items. So you move well, first let's color it we pick our coloring and just kind of play around with what you're looking for as far as your color scheme goes and you just move your mouse over the colors pick what works or 
If you don't like those choices, you can play around with a more specific color. I'm just going to use the one that Roblox has provided. And we'll go with Pinecone. And then we will take the material. And if you want to make it a smooth plastic, that's going to make it a little bit shinier. Or you can even change it to wood if you want. If you want that material to actually show through, that is really up to you. Now this, we need to add our green uh, leaves. And you just go through and see what is best for your liking. Shamrock. And then we, head, we take this and move it. We make sure that collisions is not marked because we want it to collide with the other mesh and then we just move it. We click on the move button and we use these arrows to put it together and shape it how we want. You can also change the model rotation and the amount of movement from five. Five is kind of the recommended number, but of course when you're doing detailed work and you're trying to get these to line up, you might change those studs to a point one so that you can get your branches to work right. And then we just play around with it. And there you have it. There is our tree. And now it's not a low poly because like I said, I did not decimate those leaves. I will show that to you in another video on how to make that a more low poly tree, but I think this looks pretty fantastic. It's not that many verts, so really you could use this in a low poly game or atmosphere. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I really have enjoyed being with you. Thank you so much for being here, and please be sure to hit the like button. Let me know in the comments how I can help you with your modeling and your blender use and GFX in general. I have enjoyed so much being here with you. Hope you've enjoyed being with me. Thank you so much. You have a great day. Bye-bye.